How's it going people, Bobby here once again. You might know me online as Ironhammer5 and today I've got quite an old one. It's the AIMOD Simple uh, Mech Mod, 18650 Mech Mod. Uh, it's made by AIMOD Watofo. I think they're the same company as far as I know. Like I said, it's been out for absolutely ages, at least six months. You've probably seen it before. I've been wanting the lime green one ever since I've seen it and I finally got it. So I thought I'd make a quick video of it because I've been enjoying it. So I wanted to just show it to you guys just in case maybe you hadn't seen it before. Just in case maybe you hadn't seen the cool green one because I love it. So uh, let's take a look at it. So just in case you care people, here is the box and I'm looking at his over already. The box that the AMOD simple comes in, uh, nice box, similar to all the other stuff really. Um, not a lot to say, lime green sticker on there because I've got the sexy lime green one. And uh, that's about it, scratch and check to make sure it's an authentic clone, all that good stuff. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Uh, then inside you get this kind of like microfiber cloth type thing the AIMOD logo on, very handy if you're messy like me and you've got juice everywhere all the time so uh, I think I'll be keeping that on my desk and washing it periodically uh, then of course you get the mod you get some silica gel and you get an insert and I don't think there's anything else, no nothing else, that's it that's all we get today, no blue screwdriver or anything when we, get bump, when we buy a mod so here it is, there's really not a lot to say as I mentioned there's going to be a real quick one uh, it is an 1860 mech mod. It has a brass button. It's a copper tube. It's got this awesome green coating, which feels really nice to hold. Uh, it doesn't quite match up to my troll. Uh, I don't know if you can really tell. The colors are slightly off. It's going to be hard to see on camera. The colors are slightly off. I've been rocking it with the velocity on there, and I think it looks really awesome. Uh, it looks pretty cool with pretty much any atomizer on there. But uh, that's how I've been rocking it anyway. Um, so we've got a small uh, throw on the button here, not too much. It's a nice smooth button. No funny crunchy sounds or anything like that coming out of there. Um, and then I'll just quickly take the switch out to show you how it all works. It is a hybrid mod, of course, so make sure you're using a uh, atomizer where the 510 sticks out. Uh, I could show you an example of that just in case somebody's watching who's new. Uh, I'll use this battery here um, so you can see this troll has a 510 pin here which is silver sticking out of the bottom and because it's loose I knew it was loose it would be a perfect example so if I place this against there you can see that the battery is only going to touch this one small silver bit at the bottom the inner bit not this outer section alright so you want it to only touch that and you want there to be a gap there if this was screwed all the way in if I can get it to screw all the way in so you can see it's hardly protruding out at all that's not a good idea that's going to cause you all kinds of problems your battery's going to short and you're going to have a bad day so the tube inside is all copper all the way through you can see the 510 pin of the velocity sticking out of the end it's a straight copper tube there's no threads or anything there's no 18350 mode or anything like that which I love it's a solid copper tube all the way through you can see the threads on the inside there uh, everything fits together nicely uh, the switch section screws in as much as you would imagine it to in a mod at this price uh, it's a very nice smooth switch it's not wobbly or anything uh, kind of has a little bit of side to side but it really doesn't happen very often uh, if you're mostly pressing it kind of central it'll work and it seems to fire every time even if you press it on the edge it still seems to fire uh, to take it apart you just pull this like plastic tab part out and the whole thing will come apart there's a spring in there uh, I'm not going to do it on video, there's lots of people who are already taking these apart, like I said at the very start, it's a really old mod. Um, so what you're going to want to do to put it together is put your atomizer on first, because if you do it afterwards, if you've screwed the bottom part in too much, it will actually kind of squish your battery, the top of your battery. So you want to put your atomizer first, and then push your battery up to the top, and then simply screw the switch part in as far as it will go. And you can see this switch automatically adjusts everything and once you screw it in I'm using a guitar pick on this bottom section here just to uh, kind of make sure it's tight you can use a coin, a fingernail or you can sometimes get it with your finger sometimes if you tighten it, getting it off you do need something to undo it but you can usually uh, work it well just to tighten it up with your finger is fine um, and then you can have it so like I said if you put if you were to screw this up first it will push the battery up and then when you screw your atomizer in it could like dent the top of your battery so always put your atomizer on first I think I've been taking it on and off the camera all the way through this video you've probably seen them a hundred times by now AMOD simple let's give it a little vape 
Uh, lovely little mod. So there it was, guys. Pretty simple, right? Here it is with the velocity on the top, as you saw at the beginning of the video. Um, it makes a lovely little combo. It pairs with many, many atomizers. It looks really nice. Uh, the troll looked good on there. Um, it was a little bit tubular with that on there. Like It's kind of just like a rod at that point. I like the kind of slight curve of the velocity. It looks nice. Anyway, let's have a little vape. Super tasty DIY juice going on in there. So I've got my usual boring 6 wraps, 24 gauge going on inside here um, in the Velocity. Lovely vape from this, it hits nicely, uh, being a straight copper tube and a hybrid connection, it hits really nicely, I haven't had no troubles with it at all, the button's lovely, um, it's simple as fuck like as the name suggests, uh, the switch is solid, everything about it is solid, even the green coating. When I first got it, I was kind of worried about the green coating. Like, I was being really careful putting it down everywhere and screwing things on. I didn't want to ruin the coating. But I've had it a couple of weeks now, and I've been using it almost every day. And uh, it's held up very, very well as far as the coating's concerned. It feels nice as well, too. It's just, just a really nice feeling little mech mod. I really can't fault it in any way. Just a lovely vape, people. Really, really nice. Um, like I say, it's really old. You've probably seen it before. Uh, I just wanted to make a super quick video for anybody who's following my channel who maybe hasn't seen it. Or I just wanted to tell you I've got my cool green mech mod at last, finally. Um, maybe that was the real reason for this video. I don't know. Um, I got mine from my buddies at VaporDeeper.com. Uh, as always, there's an affiliate link down below if you want to shop there and you want to swap my videos at the same time. If you don't want to use that, that's cool. I don't mind. Buy it from wherever you want. They're available loads of places. Different places will be stocked in different colors. There's all different ones about. Um, that link, purely, if you want to support my videos when you buy from Vapor Depot, you can use the link. You can go straight to the website, do whatever you want. But uh, if you do, it just gives me a few pennies towards buying something else to review on the channel at the end of the day. Um, so that's there if you want it. It's not if you're not. Um, you can get it there. You can get it a bunch of places. It's about everywhere, right? It's been out for ages. If you want to find one, they're not hard to find. Um, thanks for watching as always, people. I hope you enjoyed the video. Plenty more stuff coming up. Some more newer stuff too. I have still got the Segeli 75. I said I was going to do that next in my last video. But uh, I found myself with like a few spare minutes tonight. And I thought, well, that simple is going to be a pretty simple video. So uh, I'll quickly do that tonight. Segeli 75 is coming. Other stuff is coming. I've got some new tanks on their way. Um, I think the Fury Tank or something is called. And a Hat Trick, which is like a, one of those weird three-coil designs. I don't know what came out there. Th -th 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 three. I don't know where that came from. But it's a three-coiled design. It's got those weird, like, triangular coils in it. That'll be pretty interesting to look at. Uh, Cthulhu V2 should be on its way, like, within the next month or so. Two, four weeks, something like that, maybe. I'm not sure when they're releasing. But once they're ready, I should be getting my hands on one of those, too. Um... I know my Cthulhu V1 video was very popular, so um, I'm sure there's plenty of people looking forward to that one. Plenty of stuff coming, so do ensure to be sure to subscribe if I could talk properly. I swear to God, in most of my videos, I can talk properly. Um, that's about it. Like, comment, let me know what you think. Have you got a simple? Are you bored of it by now? I've just got mine. Maybe the novelty will wear off. Um, make mods are pretty cool again, right? I don't know. There's something about the size and feel and simplicity of this little mech mod. I've been carrying it around with me quite a lot. Partly because I wanted to make a video about it, partly because it's green, and partly because it's just so tiny. Like, if I hold it up, like it's like the same size as like an iStick 30, but like not as wide. And compared to like a box like the Sigeli, it's obviously really tiny. And compared to my old trusty 100 watt plus, it's even more tiny. So um, I've just been really enjoying it. I'll leave it with that, guys. Take care. You're all fucking awesome. And. Bye-bye.